Hey guys, it's Fatima here at Vintage Parlor Arts. Just coming at you with a video here on um, a Sunday evening. And I'm going to try to do this again and hopefully the dog won't bark. There's just lots of people walking this evening and it seems to be triggering Ollie. Um, so we will give this another go here. Um, I'm just kind of chilling here in my creative space and... Um, this is kind of just what I got going on here. I haven't really updated this area too much. Um, I changed it a little bit here. I took one of a, a different shelf down and I just have this one um, kind of shutter here kind of propped up just using that for some display. And um, right now I'm just really into these little uh, LED um, tea lights. I just love them because of um, <clears throat> the safety aspect. You know, it's no big deal if I would fall asleep or something and they would stay lit and, or stay lit. So that's kind of cool. But um, nothing real big going on here. Um, but the main attraction today is this guy. Um, this is an Uncle Sam doll that I made in a primitive style. Um, I made the pattern myself. I just kind of winged it, you know, eyeballed it. Um, drew it on some drawing paper and just, you know, just gave it a whirl. And this is kind of what I came up with. Um, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. Um, and I thought I'd just give you guys a look at him and kind of just explain what I did here and how I did it. Um, his hat here, um, is made with some kind of hefty cardstock and some blue material. And I made it out of like three pieces, a circle, a square that I kind of folded over in on itself, and then another circle on top and just kind of hot glued everything. Um, I did use the hot glue gun on a few places for him um, to attach his hat and to attach his hair. Um, his hair is wool, and um, I did not needle felt it on. <clears throat> you can do that, but I, I did not for a few reasons. Um, number one, I don't have any felting needles, and um, wool kind of bothers my asthma, so I don't know how much of that I'm going to be doing, um, or if I do, I'm going to have to wear a mask kind of thing. But here's his kind of hair on the back. Oh, I got some thread in there. But I just kind of hot glued him on there, his hair. <coughs> yeah, if I do any kind of needle felting, I'm going to have to, like, wear a mask. Because the wool fibers tend to bother me. Oops, let me try to get him propped up. Sorry about this, guys. <coughs> so, he's 100% hand sewn. I did not use a sewing machine on him. Because I really enjoy just hand stitching. Um, his eyes are uh, just black thread. And his nose is sculpted with thread. And he's got a little mouth under here uh, with some black thread. And I just made him kind of a long, kind of those handlebar mustache things. I could have put a beard on him, but I just chose not to. Because I really wanted his uh, mustache to kind of be the main focus. And um, his clothes, I just kind of winged it. I didn't have any kind of pattern or anything. I just eyeballed it, you know. <laughs> and I made him um, a uh, just a little shirt under there. And then a jacket here. And a little, like, scarf thing. And, like, a little belt. And, um, I just made him some trousers and just kind of made them primitive. Like, I put a little patch on them here and... Then I kind of ratted up the bottom of them uh, just to make them look kind of cool. His feet, I, um, sorry, I painted them black. And then I used some wool thread. Let's see if I can show you here. To kind of make him like some uh, boot laces. Hang on. I can't see here. Yeah, there we go. Made him some kind of boot laces on each one of his boots. But those are just uh, done with black paint. Um, what else? 
I'll show you the back of him here. Is just um, he's weighted. Um, he's got his body uh, is polyfill, and uh, he's got some rice, a bag of rice, kind of in the bottom part of him here, so that he can kind of sit, sit up, and have a little weight to him. Um. The only thing about him is the hat seemed to make his neck floppy. So I have to kind of prop him up against something. But my thought was, you know, next time I'm going to have to, like, I don't know, make the neck super, super stiff. Or maybe put a little pipe cleaner in here or something. Um... Because I did stick a needle back here just to see if it would how it would hold it up, and it it did a long needle, and it, he it just needs some support back here. So um, I'm thinking maybe a pipe cleaner or something if I have this situation again with his neck. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, he's got a little pocket down here. Um, with just some coffee dyed cheesecloth stuff um but this is my little uncle sam doll i don't know how tall he is um let's see if i can grab a ruler here he is um he's definitely long he is let's see here he is Um, a foot and eight inches. So, what? <clears throat> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 inches. Yeah, so he's like 20 inches from his hat down. So, anyway, I'm really happy with how he turned out. I think he looks pretty cool, considering I just kind of winged it. <laughs> Um, his, um, the way I did him is kind of like I did, um, some of the other doll, like Raybell, is his head embodies one piece, and then I sewed his legs on and his arms on. And, um, his shoulders got kind of boxy like this, just from the jacket. So, what I ended up doing is, once I got his jacket on, I just put a little bit of, polyfill just kind of right here just to make it have a little more shape in the jacket so and I think it looks it looks okay so and I kind of tried to deck him out in some red and in blue you know kind of Americana type style but and the jacket um, it kind of has a v-neck front here and then the um the front it's hard to see um the way it is but it's kind of v'd in the front too and longer in the back <clears throat> and it's got some kind of vintage buttons here on this um waistband or belt i don't know i was trying to make him kind of have a military a military look <clears throat> But this is my Uncle Sam. Um, <coughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to put him on Etsy. I am going to put dolls up on Etsy eventually here. I'm just practicing right now and learning. And, you know, I want to make sure before I get them up on Etsy that I'm happy with them. You know, because I'm, I'm learning here. But, um. Anywho, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, please give me a like and a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.